Hey, what's going on you guys? It's Aiden here from Vice Gaming, and today we're going to be talking about A Bastard's Tale. Is it good? Is it bad? Or does it have any star qualities to it? Today we're going to be taking a deeper look into A Bastard's Tale. A Bastard's Tale was released by No Pest Productions on May 28th, 2015. It's a side-scrolling melee game where you rely on quick reactions to successfully navigate through levels. Although the game only has 5 levels, the average playtime is about 2-3 to three hours which is good for a game with 5 levels. The levels can be quite challenging even though they're short, as the NPCs come at you in waves with the ability to strike in multiple directions. You can dodge and parry away strikes with a quick enough reaction time. That being said, it's quite hard to tell where the attack is coming from, with only a couple of pixels to differentiate one strike from another. There's also some inaccuracy with the hitboxes. Some strikes that shouldn't land end up landing, and vice versa. A couple of things I really enjoyed about this game were the variety of enemies packed into such a small game as well as the visuals. The 90s style pixel art was absolutely beautiful. Combining that with the playstyle gave me a bit of a nostalgic feeling as I played through the game. I would usually talk about the game's story as well, but this game has none. That being said, there's not much more you can really say about this game. It's pretty short and it's pretty simple. Okay, so how would I rank this game? For visuals and soundtrack, I'd give it a 7. The visuals are very well put together and retro in a way that brought out an excited feeling when I looked at them. The soundtrack was alright, however it could have definitely been much more engaging. Anyone who's played the game knows that the soundtrack was definitely lacking in a lot of areas. Uh, the sound effects, however, were very, very well done. I'm gonna give them that right on tune, right on time. Um, yeah. For gameplay, I would give it a 4. This game definitely has some issues with hitboxes and telegraphing the NPC's moves. They made the animations too similar in some areas, making it genuinely way too difficult to see what attack is coming at times. Also, you have no customization options and only get to carry one weapon throughout the entire game. You can't even get a shield. I mean, come on, what type of knight doesn't have a shield? This game could have easily gained some points just by giving you some sort of ability to pick up a weapon or shield. Overall, I would rank this game a 5.5 out of 10. Honestly, it's not that bad of a game. It's only $5 to purchase, and it can be quite fun when you're looking for a challenge on some downtime. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to leave me a like and a comment telling me which game you'd like to see me review next. Also, subscribe and share if you haven't already.